functions. Coming to the definition, let A and B be two sets. A function f from A to B is a rule which assigns to each element x in A exactly one element y in B. So that means if you have two sets, from first set you should have only one mapping to the element of B. That is from every element you should have only one element which is mapped in the set B. So for a non-empty set C B, a function or a mapping f from A to B denoted f from A to B is a relation from A to B in which every element of A appears exactly once as the first component of the ordered pair in the relation. So we often write f of a equals to b whenever a comma b is an ordered pair in the function f. For a b belongs to f, b is called as an image of a under f whereas a is called as a pre-image of b. In addition, f is a method for associating with each a belongs to a, a unique element f of a equals to b belongs to b. Consequently, a b, a c belongs to f, it implies b is equal to c. This is the case in case of a function but not in case of relation. So a function is a type of relation where there is exactly one output for every input. For every x, there is exactly one element which is related to it. The value of f is defined as if x, if x is an element of a and y is an element of b assigned to x then y is equal to f of x and call the function value of f at x. The element y is called as an image of f, x under f. Example suppose a equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, b equals to a, b, c, d, 1a, 2b, 3c, 4d are the elements of r and uh, 1b, 1d, 2d are the elements of s, then r is a function, whereas s is not a function because 1 is related to b as well as d in s, whereas in r, every element is related to only one element. Therefore, s is not a function, whereas r is a function. For the function, f from a to b, a is called as a domain of f and b is called as a domain of, co-domain of f. The subset of b consisting of those elements that appear as the second components in the ordered pairs of f is called as a range of f and is denoted by f of a. f of a is the range of f because it is a set of all images of elements of a and f. Suppose you have let a equals 1, 2, 3, 4 determine whether or not the following relation on a are functions. Suppose f is equal to 2, 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 4, 4. Now you can see 2 has a image uh, 3 as well as 1. So it is not a function. g equal to 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 1. So here g is a function. h is 2, 1, 3, 4, 1, 4, 2, 1, 4, 4. So again here you can see 2, 1, 2, 1 is written twice. That's all. Nothing uh, difference. So it is a function. Let a equals to 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2, 3. Under f equals to a, f from a to r. r is a set of all real numbers defined by f of x equals to x cube minus 2x square plus 3x plus 1 for x. Find the range of f. So, f of 0 is obtained by replacing in this f of x equation by 0. x replaced by 0, you will get 0 minus 0 plus 0 plus 1. So, it is 1. f of 1 is 1 cube, it is 1 minus 2 plus 3 plus 1. So, it is 4 plus 1, 5 minus 2, which is 3. Then f of minus 1, if you compute, it is minus 5. And this is a f of 2, f of minus 2 and f of 3. So, your uh, domain is uh, 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2, 3 and uh, codomain is set of all real numbers whereas the range is uh, 1, 3, minus 5, 7, minus 21 and 90. So, this is the range and domain. Now, again here, here a equals to 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 and f is uh, a 
to R defined by f of x equal to x squared minus x plus 1. x belongs to f. Find the range. So f of 0 is 1, f of 1 is 1, f of minus 1 is 3, f of 2 is 3, f of minus 2 is 7. Therefore, the range is 1, 3 and 7. And uh, domain is the set F and uh, codomain is the set R which is a real number. Now coming to the next function f of x equal to floor of x. So floor of x is nothing but I will just terminate. So suppose you have some numbers positives as well as negatives. 1, 2, 3 and here it is suppose here 0. 1 minus 2 suppose like this. Now here what is floor of x is it is the greatest integer which is less than or equal to x. Suppose I consider 3. 3 here. So suppose here it is 3.3. Less than 3.3, you will have all these elements which come towards the left. Among that, which is the greatest integer which is less than? Here it is 3. So, the answer is 3. 3.8 or 3.3, whatever you consider the greatest integer, less than or equal to 3. So, if you consider minus 3.4, here it will be. So, here, which is the greatest integer less than or equal to minus 3.4 is minus 4. It has to be an integer. So, this has to be on the left side. So, next is uh, f of x equal to seal of x. It is the least integer which is greater than or equal to x. So, if it is a uh, 3.01, so here on the right side, you will have number of elements which are greater. Among that, which is the least one? So, it is 4 here. So, likewise, if you consider the negative numbers, so suppose here, uh, here if it is a minus 1 point something, so it is answer is minus 1. So here in case of uh, uh, floor for positive numbers, you neglect the inter uh, decimal part. And for the uh, <coughs> negative numbers, you have to write uh, 1 uh, with the sign 1 greater than this 3, that is minus 4. So for the seal, it is just the ulta. For 3.01, you have to increase by 1. And uh, for the negative numbers, you have to cut off this decimal data. Next, for the truncation. So, truncation is just eliminate this decimal. Whatever it is, plus or minus, you remove the decimal point. So, truncation of positive integer is a floor. That is the floor of the positive integer, whereas truncation of negative number is the seal of the negative number. Next, evaluate the function over the domain x equals to minus 1, 0 and 2. So, f of x equals to 4x. So, when x equal to minus 1, f of x equal to minus 1 into 4. So, it is minus 4, 0 and 8. Then for g of x, 3x minus 9. So, minus 1 when you substitute, it is minus 3. So, it will be 12. And when it is 0, it is minus 1, 9. And when it is 2, it is uh, minus 3. So, next is x square minus 1. So, it is 1 square minus 1 square. It is 1 minus 1, 0. So, 0 means it is minus 1. 2 means uh, 4 minus 1, which is 3. Now here tell whether the relation below is a function or not. So this is a fun, uh, this is the ordered pairs. It is given. So here 0 is related to 5, 1 is related to 5, 2 is related to 5, 3 is related to 5 function. Whereas here minus 3 is related to minus 1, minus 3. So minus 3 is related with uh, more than one element. So it is not a function. Next is Input, output, minus 2 is related with multiple elements, so it is not a function. Again here, 
this is having this uh, some points have uh, more than one image so it is not a function next 0 minus 5 1 minus 4 if this is a order pair given is this relation yes is this a function so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so only once uh, the domain uh, elements are associated so it is a function next for this it is is this a function since uh, which element uh, one, 0 has more than one image so it is not a function is this a relation yes it's a relation which relation mapping represents a function so one is related to minus one zero this is a function second choice one so one minus one is having more than one image so it is not a function which relation mapping represents a function so this is having one element having multiple images so it is not a real function whereas here it is uh, all the elements are having the images so it is a the answer is b so now we evaluate the following functions so g of x equal to x square so g of 4 is 4 square g h of uh, h of function is 3x minus 2 so h of minus 2 is minus 8 that is if you substitute in this uh, by x value by minus 2 you will get all these so likewise you can do this so So counting on the functions. So let A equals to M, the size of A equals to M, size of B equals to N. That is A equals to A1, A2, AM, B equals to B1, B2, BM. F is a function from A to B, then A1 is related to X1, A2 related to X2, AM related to X1, where X1 can be allowed assigned with any of the element of B1 to BN. So it has N choices. X2 has a remaining uh, n minus 1 choices. Xm has a uh, uh, remaining uh, choices. So by the product rule, so n to the power of m. So if this uh, selecting the uh, choice for x1, you have n choices. Next, you will have for the remaining again you can have n choices n choices so for all m elements you have n choices so n appearing m number of times it is n rise to m so that is first element has n choices second element also has uh, n choices mth element also n choices n into n into n n rise to m so these many number of functions are possible next if a equals to 3, size of A equal to 3, size of B equals to 4, then F from A to B, F2 from B to A, find the number of possible F1 and F2. F1 is a function from A to B. The number of possible functions is equal to the size of 4 domain rise to the size of domain, so which is 64, whereas F2 is a function from B to A. So here in this case, uh, A is a codomain, so A rise to B which is 3 raised to 4, 21 is the answer. Note, if f1 is a function from a to b, if we interchange the components of the ordered pair of f, we may not always get a function from b to a. So, we will stop here and continue the types of functions in the next video. Thank you.